Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about some lesson ideas for March Madness, hence I'm repping my Phoenix Suns. So let's talk about four lesson ideas that you can do with your students to represent our basketball fun season. Can you tell I don't watch sports? <laughs> First up is a freebie from Becca's Music Room. This has been a hit in my classroom. My students still to this day ask about it, like when are we doing this again? So this is a kind of like bracket, like a tournament bracket, and you're trying to see who is gonna be the ultimate winner out of different types of instruments. And so you'll have like tuba versus trumpet, and you each watch a video of each instrument, and then whoever wins, let's say the trumpet one, then the trumpet moves on, okay? And then you do the next one, violin versus viola. You listen to them, um, you put the next one right. And so it's really fun to do over top. I kind of do like the first preliminary round, like where I'll do the left side. And so it's like usually like th two, ah, three to four, I think it's three to four three to four different kind of rounds. And then the next time that they come to class, the last five minutes, we'll do the other side. And then we'll do like the semifinals and then the finals and another lesson. So it's really fun to kind of stretch over the month of March. My students absolutely love it. It's kind of nice for you as a teacher because it's still, you know, them interacting with music, listening to different types of instruments, but you have a little bit of a break because they're watching a video and they love it, you guys. So grab that favorite from Becca. She is a genius. I think that it's an amazing resource. Second up is doing kind of like basketball rhythm routines. So let's talk about first where you can find them. Pitch Publications has some awesome PowerPoints that you could use and buy on TPT. There's also um, a YouTube, I think like two or three routines on YouTube that I will link down below in a blog post that I really have enjoyed and used in the past. Uh, second, let's talk about basketballs. So you can obviously get some basketballs from your PE teacher. I think I have gotten basketballs in the past for the entire class and in the music room it was a little jarring trying uh, hearing all those basketballs go at the same time. I think in this year I'm going to be just using playground balls. I think that they're a little more gentler on the ears, um, but if you're going to get a class set of basketballs, maybe heading outside would be fun. You know, they do their rhythm routine and then you give them like five or ten minutes to have a little fun recess time and that'll keep them motivated. Uh, so it might be another option for you. So super fun and there are just so many out there. Again, if you look on YouTube, I'll link though my favorites down below. Next is a rhythm review or it could be a soul. It could be really any type of review game. Um, that students could play in small groups. I have gotten in the past uh, trash can, <laughs> small trash cans from like the Dollar Tree, and I have gotten off of Amazon, again, I'll link those down below for you guys, uh, little balls that you can blow them up and they look like little basketballs. And so I have the students play a small group game, and this will link down below, this is in my TPT store. Uh, but essentially what students are going to get into groups of either three or five. So it can be two on two, or it can be one on one with one referee. So it's really up to you. I've done groups of five just because then you don't have to prep as much stuff and the students stay, stay up still pretty engaged. So groups, let's say it's groups of five. What you're gonna do is you're gonna set them up with some uh, music madness cards. You are going to give them a trash can and a, a small <laughs> ball. It doesn't have to be a, like a basketball. It's kind of fun. It gets them excited if you can buy them off of Amazon, but if you can't, it could honestly be just a piece of paper. They could throw a, um, a smashed up piece of paper. It could be any other kind of small uh, ball. So it doesn't have to be that, um, but it is extra fun. So you're gonna set them up with that. You're gonna explain to them that the referee is going to have the answer key, the cards, and also a dry erase board to keep score. So the referee is going to let, um, maybe they could do a coin toss to like see who gets to go first because it's gonna be two players on two, uh, or to think of a number behind um, their back, one through 10, whoever's closest gets to go first, so however they wanna figure that out. Let's say that you know team one's going first. So team one is going to pick up a card and depending on the difficulty, so there's three levels of difficulty. Uh, one, let's do for example, if they are trying to have like note review. So let's say it's a quarter note and it says, what is the name of this note? Then it's gonna be one point. That's gonna be the easiest version. Like what is the name of the note? They have to say it. The referee can check on the answer key just in case they don't remember. And if they get it right, awesome. Then they have one point 
and you can do this a number of different ways. I found the trash cans that I got were a little too small and it was extremely hard for them to make a basket. So I just said that they got the one point and then if they each could have a chance, both of the players to try and make a basket for a bonus point. So always the, when they're shooting a basket and you can tape a line if you'd like for them is the bonus point. You could also say, you know, they only get that one point if they make the basket. It's really up to you. Or you could have three tape lines and say, okay, you're gonna stand on one. If you make it, you get one point. If you, it's a two pointer, you have to stand on the two point line, three point line. You know, do 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 you see what works for you? Um, but I just found with mine, they got really frustrated. They could never make baskets, so I ended up just saying that's always a bonus point. So each player gets an opportunity each time if they get it right, they will get the point for sure. If it's a one or two or a three pointer, but then also they can try and get a bonus point each time. Okay. So then it goes to the other team. Let's say that they pick one up and it's a three pointer and it says it's a combination of notes and it says how many beats are in this combi combination of note and it's a whole note, a half note and a quarter note, okay? And they say seven beats, yay, you got it, awesome. So then they get those three points but they each get a turn to try and get a bonus point. And then you can just keep kind of going back and forth and this, the referee is keeping score and let's say the first team to, you know, I don't know, 10 points, 15, 20 points is the winner. And then you can switch and you can have the referee go to playing and have a new student be the referee. Honestly, I'm not too worried about that referee getting in because usually there is that personality of that student that wants to be the referee and they're still learning because they're checking answers. So they're kind of getting that recognition. So I think honestly, if you don't have time to switch, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, but yeah, so that is just a quick review game and keeps the students excited, especially for those baskets. Oh my goodness, do they get super excited to throw a small ball into a trash can. Finally, it is a great time to uh, incorporate Space Jam. <laughs> Maybe because I'm a 90s kid, um, I am super excited about this, but there are so many great rhythm play alongs uh, that you can do. I will link my favorite one down below. Uh, to Space Jam and so it's really fun to do that upbeat song with them and incorporate in music in some different ways. So there are four lesson ideas for your March Madness. I hope that you found them helpful. I will have them all linked below in a blog post so they're really easy to find those videos and resources that I talked about. Um, and I will be taking two weeks off. A new routine of mine is that every quarter I'm always going to take a two week break. And just again, to keep myself fresh, being able to make videos for you guys, it's, it's a lot, like I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot to keep up with this and full-time teaching, but I absolutely love sharing lesson ideas with you guys. I just need some breaks. So every quarter I'm gonna be taking a two week break and it always aligns with my school breaks, which are really fun. So I am gonna be going on spring break next week. And so I will see you guys, I think the last week of March. So I'll see you guys back here. I hope that you have an amazing spring break whenever it is, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.